SEBI wants the derivatives market to cool down, especially the retail involvement. If you're wondering why, that's because most retail investors end up burning their fingers. So on Tuesday, the top market regulator implemented six out of seven measures recommended by an expert panel to cool the exuberance in India's derivatives market. These measures will be implemented in a phased manner and as per reports, could lead to a massive dent of 20 to 30 percent in the overall volumes in the derivatives market. Out of the six recommendations, reduction in weekly expiries per exchange from 5 to just 1, an increase in lot size to Rs 15 to 20 lakh from the earlier Rs 5 to 10 lakh could lead to the biggest drop in the volumes. From 20th November, both these measures will become effective. On 1st February, the removal of calendar spread benefit on expiry day will also become effective. Calendar spread benefit meant that on expiry day, a client not having enough margin to sell Nifty or Sensex options would sell in the current expiry and buy the same options in the next expiry. This would reduce the margin needed to be placed to sell the options in the current expiry as the purchase of same options in the next weekly expiry would effectively become a hedged position. Monitoring of position limits would stop brokers from giving certain clients extra leverage during intraday trading of options or futures. This will prevent any systemic risk from building up, as a broker will have to ensure that the notional position limit per client is not breached during the day. As you might know, buyers of options have to pay a premium to a seller for a call or put option. While most big brokers now collect premium upfront, others collected at the end of the day or on the next day against collateral kept with them by clients. The SEBI rule now specifies that the premium should be collected upfront. One measure proposed on tail risk has been diluted. The experts group had proposed raising the extreme loss margin by 3% a day before expiry and 5% on the day of expiry. This has been diluted to a 2% rise on the day of expiry. On a futures buy or sell or an option sell, the margin is composed SPAN or standard portfolio analysis of risk of around 10% and ELM of 2%. The committee had proposed to increase the total margin to 20%, but now this will be raised by 14% on the day of expiry. Implementation of these measures will prevent retail traders from indulging in high-risk speculative trades. A SEBI study released on 23rd September revealed that 93% of over 10 million individual FNO traders on average lost 2 lakh rupees each, inclusive of transaction charges, in the three years through fiscal year 2024. Over 75% of these traders declared an annual income of less than 5 lakh in fiscal year 2024. But despite this, more than 75% of loss makers continued trading in FNO.